Hello everybody, I am the Linkzilla and welcome back to God of War. When we last left off, we went back to Helheim for a brief stint to finish off everything that we had to do there. We fought and killed the penultimate Valkyrie and we found all the missing treasures. And now that means that we've gotten all the artifacts in the game, which means that basically if we want a big payday, all we have to go do is go talk to the Holder Brothers. I honestly... A loving gift from the Giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's <laughs> Ale. Not so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put him in my nipples <laughs> instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost cheats. <laughs> Ah, those were the days. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. Kratos, hold on to this head. Mimir's sight. When the giants trusted someone enough to help them travel the realms, they put Bifrost crystals in their eyes. Tyr had them, and so does Mimir. So that's why Mimir's eyes are jewels, huh? Man, that's... I gotta admit, that's kind of disturbing, because it, it reminds me of the Millennium Eye. You guys remember watching Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day? Pegasus was always, like, such a creepy villain, because you realize that in order to use the Millennium Eye, his real eye had to be gouged out, and the eye had to replace it. The Millennium Eye, that's... that is... that's disturbing. And considering that it's made of gold, there was a chance that he could have suffered from heavy metal toxicity. Not to mention evil ancient Egyptian magic. <laughs> but that whole thing about drinking 16 cups of ale. <laughs> Believe me, it still hurt even after all of that. My nipples instead. The Bifrost this will be our best work yet. Just need a little help from you lot. Brother, my brother. So here we are back in Midgard. Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Well, believe it or not, kid, I think we already know where this key goes to. But, now that we've gotten everything sorted, and we basically have... Is that... No, nah, that's just a regular seagull, isn't it? Because there's only one that's supposed to be here, right? Yep, just one. Once, now that we've gotten everything sorted with get traveling to... Well, traveling to Jotunheim, we can basically do it whenever we want now. Now we basically have to continue exploring around, because I really do wonder if he's going to move his ass at least one more time in this game, or if the lake is literally as high or as low as it's going to be. Now we can go to the other towers and light them, because you now have the prop the rest of the Niflheim room rune. Let's go get that Niflheim transport rune. Fair warning, you guys. I really do want to go back to Moosefellheim and try again. What does it say? Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Oh yeah, I can translate this now. Niflheim, land of fog and fortune. Fog and fortune. Hey, fog nobody mentioned fortune. fortune. We should go there. Fog and fortune, a misty realm of treasure and traps. Well, we have the rune to go explore. Sometime. Count on it, boy. We'll be going there before you know it. Fog and fortune, fog and fortune. I honestly cannot believe we found the realm tear here, and it was one of the toughest fights that I've had. Oh, 
I'm never gonna get over that. You know, Atreus here. Yes, father. <laughs> I find it so surprising that we never have to basically move the temple ever again. Yeah, even the only time where it actually moved without our input was when Jormungandr moved it. And somebody put it back the way it was. I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. <laughs> uh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Now they are twice as irritating. <laughs> Oh, Kratos. Kratos, I will make a bro out of you yet. What's that down there? Let's see. I plum forgot what was on my mind. Ugh. Ah, my eye is starting to burn. I almost wish that we hadn't killed everything, because going to these four towers seems like it's going to be pretty boring. <laughs> Another name. Hilder. Hilder. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? The game is really show telling me that I should have basically continued the quest and gotten the Nifelheim translation rune before I started killing Valkyrie. But I couldn't help it. I mean, for the one thing, we found the chisel and she was there. No bad guys here. That dragon, that's Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down to save me? It was very heroic. 
Holy shit. Hey, Jormungandr, you, uh... You gonna eat that? Looks mighty tasty. Probably feed a few... Feed a village for a while. Honestly, you guys, the only thing that brings me any sort of sanity right now is the knowledge that tomorrow is Friday. Not only is it payday, but it's also a weekend. Another name. Gooner. Gooner? Why the arcane runes? Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim. I really wonder what's going to happen when all the braziers are lit. And, I wonder if we can climb up there and investigate that dragon. I really hope that we can. Because who knows, maybe if I pull a tooth out and bring it to Brock and Sindri, they might do something nice for me. Get in the back of the boat, Kratos. Good man. Pretty sure that's the way to Vanir's, Fafnir's storeroom. Wait a second. If those ones are lit, then... The tap, the Jotunheim Tower. I don't think I'll be able to light that one, because I've only lit up six of out of eight so far. All the ones I see. Me too, kid. How are we supposed to light the braziers on a tower that's not there? With extreme difficulty, I imagine. Well, like I said, one of, if one of the towers is missing, and we know which tower it is, we gotta find a way to get that tower to show itself. But, before we do that... Let's go and, uh... Lay some of these beautiful ladies to rest. Reunite them with their sisters. Because that's the only way to get Sigrun to appear. And, what else was I going to say? There's also some treasure that's buried out there. Yeah. I like it when we keep pace like this. You know, I've never really just stopped and taken a look at this place. This is none other than Gerdrifu, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. 
The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Ain here you are, wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- uh, <laughs> fornicating themselves so Fornic Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdry Fool had her hands full training that lot. Gerdry Fool, huh? Not sure if I remember which one she was. Then again, I don't think I'll remember much of them outside of Gondol. There we go. Gedrifil. Amir said Gedrifil, Master of Arms, responsible. <laughs> Gondol. I didn't realize that I had brought Gondol back here already. Does that mean that she was the third one that I fought? This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. I guess since Bam since the kid copies Bamir's da words down word for word, there's no point. <clears throat> ah, here we have Air, the healer. A Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet, very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, Air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. <laughs> uh, not my proudest moment. I think that I remember that in our fight with her, she was the one who gave up the most healing stones. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, 
She fell defending him during a Reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behaviour amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up with Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian. Hmm. Seven down, and then there was one to go. Well, that's all the damage. Wait, no. We still gotta find that treasure. Let's see. The last place they'd look. Look for the face. Not yours. <laughs> Alright. That looks like it. And it's somewhere in front of a throne. I don't see anything. Aha! Yep. Unstable ore. What did I need this for again? Eye of Runic Supremacy. Taking damage during Runic Attack reduces damage by 30. That sounds very, very good. Hack Silver and more Hardened Steel. I think we're rolling in it now, aren't we, boy? What other treasure map do we have? Don't blink. I still don't know where that is. Under the eyes of a face of stone. I'm pretty sure that this is the only place that has faces of stone. Really wish that the menu would stay put. Maybe it is around here, but I just can't tell. Not sure I meant to do that.
Why are we taking the long way back when we should just take the the warp gate? Because maybe I'm just looking for the treasure. Probably won't find it anywhere around here. Ladies? do I wish to go? Mm -hmm. Yep, might as well do that favor for the for the boys. <laughs> wow. You know guys, I literally I just had a thought. Well actually I've been thinking about it for a while now and kid, what the heck are you doing? Like We're all, we're here for a reason, you know? The thought is is that I was basically going over the the myth of Balder and the mistletoe and whatnot, and I suddenly realized that there's a key player in that story that hasn't shown up in this game yet, and I honestly thought that Kratos and the kid would have run into him by now because he's literally the most incru most crucial part of Balder's myth, the story behind it, and I figured that he'd present himself as a kind of, I don't know, uh, com as a kind of uh, basically uh, t t ally to Kratos and the kid. Well, basically the idea is that where the heck is Loki? I mean, Loki was the one who was jealous of Balder and basically really wanted to figure out a way to get at Balder. And then when Freya basically cast a spell and thought she was being clever, well, Loki was more clever than she was, so... So where the heck is Loki? I mean, the closest thing we've got to Loki is Mimir, based on the horns. There's something else I also thought about. Back in the original God of War game, the barbarian horde that Kratos fought, Gaia describes that they are the barbarians from the east. Now, you basically look at east of Greece. Well, you imagine you probably imagine something else, but I'm wondering if those guys were supposed to be Nords, like Nordic Vikings and whatnot. I think purely based on their clothing, their size, and their choice of weaponry, there's just something that basically just struck me about them that came off as Norse, Norse to me. But who knows what they could, what the games could have been implying back then. Hack silver. Four oh four. I don't know why I find that so amusing, but I do. The fact that he's just there, almost omnipresently. So 
So what do you think, kid? You think we'll run into trouble while we're here? So we retrieved the hammer and the whetstone for these guys, specifically so that they could make legendary armor for us. I feel like we're the victim of some kind of really targeted advertisement. I mean, we basically collect the things that they need to make this stuff, and then they sell it to us. <laughs> Kid, don't you want to read this? Boy, over here. Sir, it says, glory to Motsigny, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous. And filled with peace. Motsignir. So we've got another Dwarf King, huh? Or is it the same Dwarf King as before? Motsignir's throne. After many winters, the stronghold of Kunzengard is complete. Motsignir has invited all citizens to attend the grand ceremony in the throne room. There we wait. The calming... There we await the calming words of our king, who promises everlasting safety and prosperity. This new land is even more fertile than Vythergard, so it is the same guy. And with with Ragnan as our stalwart sentry, we fear not from the Reavers, Dark Elves, nor any malevolent force. The reign of King Motsingir is truly blessed by Tyr himself. All hail the Dwarf King, Prosecutor of Man. Oh, protector of man, sorry. <laughs> Prosecutor. <laughs> protector of man. Huh. Sounds like they actually liked this Dwarf King. Okay, so it's a different Dwarf King. The people in Vythergard sure didn't. I wonder what changed. Hmm. Okay, kid, now you're starting to confuse me. Is it the same guy or isn't it? <laughs> Hey, Sidri! Where's Brock? Greetings, welcome. and welcome to Conan's Guard. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. Where? I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. There it is. Do you have something to say, Sidri? Or did the kid cut you off? Well, we found the third dragon. I was wondering where it was going to be. And yet, they only seem to be on the dwarf side quest, so I probably should have put that together. I honestly thought that we were going to do more favors for them. Hostiles, up ahead! Hostiles. Can we fight them? But I really do wonder, are we only ever going to fight the one dragon in this game? Focus up! I mean, from what I know about the history of this franchise, we've only ever seen Kratos make maybe one or two kills using the Blades of Chaos like that. Usually the Blades... Right, give him what for! Okay, maybe not one or two, more like four. Usually when he uses these things, the Blades leave his hands. Jack was in the box. Don't think I don't see you over there. Forty four, only six left. One of five. Five. Five of them are here. Hardened steel? Something else is hard right now. Speaking of which, hey Sidri, I gotta talk to you real quick. 
That might have not sounded all that good. So... Not a very welcoming place, is it? I've seen worse. So what brings you around, friends? Um... I've got two perfect Asgardian steel, so these could do with a tune-up. This will need an Ethel Helm alloy. Solid. The power of the Valkyrie requires two as Guardian Steel. All right, I needed the unstable ore for the. I really hope that when I get the chest plate, it does. It only needs one piece of perfect Asgardian steel. But I should also see Leviathan X. This requires perfect Asgardian steel too. Moderate perk activation. I can't make a decision. Nothing to your liking, I see? Sorry, Sidri, I just... I can't make a decision when I only have such minimal resources. Careful, boy. This bridge is close to waterfalls. Therefore, the moisture in the air is going to get into the wood and rot it out quicker. I'm starting to think that that's my new favorite thing. Where'd he come from and where's he going? Oh, he's just on patrol. Let me see if we can make his day a bit easier. captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Yeah, uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? <laughs> I lad. Potently powerful. <laughs> Potently powerful. That is having fun with you. Oh, I, I knew that. That is having fun with you. Shit, <laughs> potently powerful. <laughs> that is having fun with you. Bad 
Patrick, come down here. These guys are just patrolling around. And that sun is how you yo yo. That's an impressive front door. I've... These materials must be pretty special to make the legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. I trust you, Atreus. Huh. That's a good thing to have, kid. Your dad's trust you even after you fucked up. So, I found one key. I can use it apparently. But apparently the key comes one of three. Is that a boar? Hey! Who's the pig? Is that a wolver out there? That's a wolver out there. Here, Dougie. Yeah. <laughs> 
fight. It wasn't that tough. They just got the better of me a few times. Because here I am, basically trying to pull off a, a combo that I happen to enjoy. Crystals. I really hope that all of this is off the beaten path and I'm going to find something good. I do not like this, because there's no way that Kratos can do this in the 10 seconds before the Hell Wind disperses, so that can't be the only wind trap. There's gotta be another one. What's causing this blue fire? Although, maybe if I find a crystal, it'll make a bridge, or at least repair this bridge. Here, doggies! Remind me to make you a new pelt tunic. Well, there's a crystal, and here we are. I really wonder why Kratos can't cross a river. What's that? I mean, seriously. We were up there. This is a crystal that we saw earlier. But if we can't step into the river, maybe the river can carry it. <laughs> Yep, the river is going to carry it to its destination. Or it's going to drop it right there. Convenient. But I won't be able to go back with the crystal. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to clear the path ahead first. Let's see. Yes. You gonna carry that all day? I just might. <laughs> that is still one of the funniest interactions. I just might. <laughs> Keep. Whoa! <laughs> 
Well, that worked out nicely. You want a pair of boots to go with your new tunic? Rejected! Re re rejected! I really wonder how good this armor set is going to be because I really want to basically complete the Valkyrie set. Yes! I am figuring this out. Out, boy. In fact, how did you even get that far ahead of me? Second keystone. Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vathergar. Yes. yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker, the very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. Anything to say to that, Kratos? No? Of course, in my experience, when you take a stone off of a platform like this, a whole bunch of booby traps start going off. I mean, I think that Kratos is lucky that he's not being chased by a giant boulder right now. So, we did all of that for plot-relevant stuff. Darn it. Keep forgetting that that's there. I also keep forgetting to keep an eye out for Raven. I mean, for all we know, that that dragon over there could be Mutsignir. The two dragons that we've, fe we've seen before have been transformed dwarves. Why not this one?
We need to drain the water from this. How are we gonna do that? So maybe we don't drain the water. I'm starting to think that maybe I overthink things. Nicely done. So you mean to tell me that the reason that this entire thing was flooding was because a little piece of a little piece of flotsam got stuck in it? Hardened steel. I'm now basically like up to my ass in this stuff. Run for the hills, folks, or you'll be up to your armpits and Martians. Is that an ogre? Not only is that an ogre, that looks like it's a fierce ogre. Or... That's the way we come back around, I suppose. Seriously, Kratos, I have seen you do some incredible things, but now you can't walk through about six inches of water? Alley up! Good boy. Wait, both ways lead to the same place? Well, whatever, this way has loot. This way has loot. so weird knowing that this place doesn't have any artifacts for me to find. Hi there. Looking a bit of a monoceratops there. Are these boy or girl dragons? I do not know. There are a few ways to find out, but they're rather messy. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder if the dragon isn't all freaked out about the giant snake that's basically above it. <laughs> well, here's where we set the girl free. Target sighted. Don't move. 
And here's the pitch. Strike. He winds up. And it's out of there. The problem is, is that actually the second one, or have I missed a few along the way? Get back, boy. Tetzel worm, where? Oh, that got the boat. Poison Tetzel Worm. For a second there, I was going to ask if the worms were talking. <laughs> that was a funny sound. Described sign of fortitude. The door. Dang it, it has been a while since I've had to deal with one of these. And looky, it's one of those ones where you have to hit the symbols like gongs. Or at least there are two close by. One, two, and I'm guessing the third one is conveniently stashed behind there. What could be behind curtain number one? Ah, damn, that, uh... Actually, it's convenient. Ah, I think I know how this works. Dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to free it. Yeah. But you know how temperamental dragons can be. Okay. Maybe the explosion will be big enough from there. Yep. Holy crap, it got both of them. And I screwed it up anyway. I have a feeling that that might be the last one of the game. Especially since it's been a while since I've encountered one. Is that a troll? More worms. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nope, it's just the dragon. Enemies ahead! And they're burned to death. I'm set! Ah, great. Here comes another one. No sweat. I love it when it's as simple as that. <clears throat> Are we on the other side of that bridge? Is that the one that we read earlier? I think I hear it. Unfortunately, this video is now at the one hour mark, so I should probably give it a rest, and I can probably get to cooking my dinner. It's a shame, really. Kind of wanted this entire favor thing to be relegated to just one video, but I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Well, I don't mean easy in a sense. I just mean that I should have known that it wouldn't that it would take more than one hour. But anyways, that's all the time that we have for this video. If you liked it, leave a comment down in the comment section below, like it, share it with your friends. Keep up to date with more God of War by smashing the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.